Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're revisiting the Mobula 6. Or is it the Mobula 7? That's weird. Today we're going to revisit the HD0 Mobula 6 or Mobula 7. As always, I'm Jeff, your host with Titan FPV. If you can guys just go ahead and take a quick moment to go ahead and click that subscription button click that notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload all new content it really helps the channel and to get content out to more people thanks again you're not seeing that wrong this is a 75 millimeter frame uh, motor post to motor post i did swap out the original 65 millimeter frame i'm going to tell you the reason here in a second uh, but I just want to get better performance and overall efficiency out of the Mobula 6. I felt like it was a great platform to start with, uh, but there were just a few things that could be upgraded or taken into consideration to get squeeze all that performance out of this tiny Whoop. So we you know we are running HD Zero's Whoop Lite VTX combo with the Whoop Lite Nano Cam. Uh, that's already a good setup. I did desolder the Smart Audio. Pad. I don't use Smart Audio. I just use the normal HD0 uh, stick commands to get into uh, the VTX menu. I didn't have a need for the Smart Audio. I don't know if that improved the performance of the VTX booting up. It still takes a bit longer to boot this VTX up. Hopefully that will be resolved in a future firmware update. I am running the most recent firmware. Initially what I did, I took the original frame. I was using the same components. Uh, I 3D printed a battery holder, uh, and I swapped out the PH 2.0 connector for the GNB 27 connector. A lot of you have mentioned uh, it's much better performing for whoops, so I figured I'd give that a go. Newbie Drone had a sale on these GNB uh, 380 amp milliamp hour. GMB 27s, it's pretty much a kit. It actually comes with the power lead so you can swap out an existing whoop. I believe this was initially made for the Emacs uh, NanoHawk. These are 380 milliamp hour HV packs. So got a good deal on these and I figured this was a better time than any to go ahead and try out that new GMB 27 connector. So it's pretty much essentially a smaller version of the XT30 connector, but it's also lighter. Swap that out on the existing frame. And as you see, it didn't really add much weight, but uh, I figured I could push the performance a little bit better. So I had this Sheen trash can frame or the uh, Mobula 7 uh, V3 frame, it's a much thicker and sturdier plastic. It is a bit heavier, but it, it's not impossible to break this frame. It's a good upgrade for uh, Mobula 7 users. Had this one laying around, I figured I'd swap over the components. Now it is kind of a pain in the butt. These uh, motors are direct soldered to the flight controller. One of the best features of these new uh, Happy Model EX0802 motors though that I found is uh, you may be able to see here it's covered with some shrink wrap. The motor wires are actually soldered onto the base of the motor so you don't just have that one piece of copper wire that's coming off. So if you break that one piece of copper wiring uh, you're pretty much done and you just have to replace the motor or rewind the motor. But this one has uh, three solder joints on the base of the motor so if for some reason you damage one of these wires, which I actually did, I had to replace it. It's a pretty painless process to swap uh, the motor wire out. So I was able to repair that uh, when I swapped this over. Now you will have to do some contorting here. I actually uh, just unbolt, uh, unscrewed each motor and uh, you were able to push it through here, these uh, ducts and fit that through. But like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt to swap this over. So if you're a beginner, I don't necessarily recommend this frame swap. I would probably just uh, get the bind and fly and uh, fly it as is. 
But for us that have uh, got a little bit more experience under our belt, this is going to be a good option there to get uh, some better performance. And for uh, props, I did go with these HQ Biblade uh, 40 millimeter props. Now, initially in my first posting on Instagram, I had the Mobula 7, the original, the four bladed props. I know that those are much heavier. Uh, apparently, the internet freaked out and was just wondering why I completely trashed the whole concept of uh, Happy Models lightweight uh, Mobula 6 and ruined it with these uh, heavy uh, four-bladed props. But that's all I had at the time. I was able to find these bi-blades and I uh, just swapped those over uh, quickly for these uh, bi-blade HQs. These are performing pretty well, but like any whoop, you will tend to experience uh, y'all washout under hard dives, especially with these bi-blades. So it's not real apparent. I am running Betaflight 4.3 and that does have good prop wash handling by default. But um, yeah, I swapped these over. So uh, initially, uh, the first thing I did when uh, it was a 65 millimeter frame is I flashed Blue Jay. Uh, I'll post the link for the tutorial on how to do that. It's pretty much a similar process. Uh, I flashed the latest version of Blue Jay and I flashed 96 kilohertz. So to improve the flight time there. Now you do lose some motor braking with uh, the higher uh, kilohertz option. And then I enabled uh, RPM filtering. And that did let me squeeze a little bit more time out of these Tattoo 1S 300s and these Newbie Drone Nitro Nectar 250 1S with the existing PH2 connector. But that wasn't enough for me. So uh, first I set out to swap out this uh, GMB connector I swap that out, 3D printed that. I'll post the link for that 3D print file and give credit to the designer of that. And basically it just wedges in here and then you can um, toilet tank the battery. With that mount, it was secure and it didn't really fall out. I didn't really increase the weight much. So it wasn't getting enough flight time and performance that I'd like. While this is HD in a 1S package, I wanted even more performance. So the only way to do that is to go up and prop size. So these motors, these 1900 KV 0802s, easily will spin a 40 millimeter prop on a 75 millimeter frame. I swapped it over to this Mobula 7 V3 frame. I already had done the GMB 27, flash RPM filtering and Blue Jay, and then I swapped it out for these bi-blade props. And as you'll see, this thing rips pretty good, guys. Definitely a better performer than on the 65 millimeter frame. Uh, the efficiency with these 388 milliamp hour batteries is, is not so bad. You could definitely fit a larger battery, like a 450 or even a 650. This frame will definitely accommodate that. But I just went with these 380s, which I already had. I think I bought two packs of these. I think they were like $15. So it was kind of hard to pass up for five batteries and then connectors for the GMB 27s. After I made this conversion, I did see that Happy Model announced that they're coming out with a 1S Mobula 7 HD Zero version. So look for that in stores, guys. I believe it's going to be a similar setup. I think only Maker Fire has that one in stock or has for pre-order currently, but that won't be coming soon uh, if you don't want to uh, do the conversion yourself. I hope this video was informative, guys. Uh, as always, I want to bring some HD Zero and some good tiny whoop content to you guys if you're not already subscribed please do so click that notification bell uh, give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can we'll catch you in the next one